All right, I thought I'd just make a quick video to talk about what we've been doing in class with the force diagrams. I taught the video, uh, what could it be doing, not what is it doing, because we don't really know what it is doing, but there usually is one of two things that it could be doing. And these are the force diagrams we're talking about. The box <coughs> represents some mass, some object, it could be anything, uh, a squirrel, a house, a dog, a car, a sled, uh, your book, something like that. And the arrow represents the forces. You notice the arrows have some particular length to them. That's the magnitude of the strength of the force. And then the direction that the arrow is pointing is the, uh, the direction the force is being applied. And of course, therefore, we have the magnitude and the direction, which means, therefore, that force is a vector. So each of these things are objects, and they have some mass, and they have some forces being applied to them. So uh, here's the diagrams we've talked about in class. I've shown these to you in class. And once again, these are force diagrams. And I tell this, what could it be doing or what could they be doing? Um, because we don't really know. It's all based on whether they're balanced or unbalanced, and therefore whether they're accelerating or not accelerating, which means if they're accelerating, they're speeding up or slowing down. If they're not accelerating, they're just standing still or moving with a constant velocity. And I'll go through all this stuff. I'm like, we'll come back to these and talk about each of these individually, but I thought I'd just go for, over my notes. Okay, well, first of all, we either have forces that are balanced or we have forces that are unbalanced. One of two things. It's always going to be balanced or unbalanced. I'm not quite sure if there's anything in between. So the point is, if their forces are balanced, which means all the arrows in opposite directions look the same, then the net force is zero newtons. And newtons is the metric unit for a force, and um, it is after Sir Isaac Newton. And if the forces are balanced, then that means it's not accelerating. And that includes it's maintaining its state of motion, it has a constant velocity, and its acceleration is zero meters per second per second, which we also call zero meters per second squared. So just to go back one step, balanced forces, not accelerating. But if it's not accelerating, it could be doing one of two things. It could be standing still, or it could be moving with a constant velocity. Just by looking at the diagram, we don't really know whether it's actually standing still or moving, but moving with a constant velocity. And standing still includes not moving, which means our velocity is zero meters per second. Moving, but moving with a constant velocity means we have our velocity is constant. We're maintaining our state of motion, and our but our acceleration is still zero. All right, so balanced forces, not accelerating, standing still, or moving with a constant velocity. Okay, it's relatively straightforward, but you gotta keep those things uh, straight in your head and those are the things that go together. Then the things that go with unbalanced forces are going to be the net force is not zero. So we have some force, 5, 10, 15 newtons, whatever it happens to be, and therefore we're accelerating and therefore we're changing our velocity. And therefore we could be doing one of two things, one of three things. And we talk mostly about speeding up or slowing down, but we could also be changing our direction. When you're on the merry-go-round, you're going round and round, you're basically going at the same speed, but your direction is always changing and therefore you're always accelerating because in order to keep you changing your direction you have to apply a force to you like you hold on to the bar the bar applies a force to you or something is keeping you from falling off the merry-go-round basically now we want to be able to look at those and uh, when we had <clears throat> balanced forces we had standing still or moving with a constant velocity when we have unbalanced forces we want to figure out Therefore, it's accelerating, but we want to be able to figure out is it speeding up or slowing down. It depends which way the object is moving. If it's going in the same direction as the net force, then you're speeding up, right? You're going in a particular direction, you want to go faster, what do you got to do? Push in the same direction you're going. Now, if you're, want, if you're slowing down, that means the direction you're going is opposite the net force, right? Something is going in some particular direction, like to the right, and you want to slow it down, which way do you got to push? You guessed it, to the left. So they're opposite directions, all right? So that's balanced and unbalanced. And now we're gonna go back to these diagrams. Okay, these are the force diagrams. Once again, it's a mass and the force. But we wanna look at it. The first thing we wanna ask ourselves, balanced, unbalanced. This one should look pretty clear. It's unbalanced and the net force is to the left. Therefore, we know it is either speeding up or slowing down. But once again, just by looking at the diagram, we don't know. But if it's going to the left, and the net force is to the left, therefore, it's speeding up. If it's going this way, and something is pushing on it in the opposite direction, then it's slowing down. Okay? So left or right, direction of the net force, same, opposite, speeding up, slowing down. This one should also look unbalanced. Same up and same down, but the one to the right and the one to the left are different. The one to the right is bigger. Therefore, the net force is, you guessed it, to the right. Therefore, you guessed it, it's accelerating. Therefore, yes, it's either speeding up or slowing down. 
If it's going to the right and the net force is to the right, it's speeding up. If this thing was moving to the left and it was going and, and the net force is to the right, so if this thing was going to the left, then it would be slowing down. All right, and we can look at this. Uh, what could this be? A car, normal force, <laughs> gravitational force. Here's the force of the motor. Here's the force of friction. This thing could be going to the right and speeding up. All right, that's the way it would work. Now, if this thing was going to the left, it's a car again. Gravitational force down, normal force up. We're pushing, but gravity, I mean, excuse me, friction is greater than our push, and therefore we slow down. We can't overcome friction, all right, in this case at least. All right, now here's another one. Now, this one, we look at this, should look balanced, right? Left or equal, up and down or equal, it's balanced. Now, we have to ask ourselves, it could be doing really one of two things. It could be moving with a constant velocity, or it could be standing still. And another thing is, if it's moving with a constant velocity, we don't know if it's going left or right. So this thing could really be doing three things, moving to the left with a constant velocity, moving to the right with a constant velocity, or standing still. All right, same with this one. We look at this one. Does this one look balanced or unbalanced? Looks balanced, that's right. Could be standing still. A person, up force, down force. Excuse me, down force is gravity, up force is the normal force, and we're just standing there with our hands in our pockets. We're not moving. Gravity's pulling us down. The road is pushing back up on us, and we stand still. Could also be a skateboarder riding on a skateboard, coasting along at a constant velocity, gravity down, normal force up. We just coast along. Nothing's pushing us, nothing's pulling us. We got a brand new skateboard, smooth wheels, smooth road, smooth bearings, very little friction. In this case, we would say no friction. And we just move along with a constant velocity. All right, coming to the end here, two more. This one, the net force is to the right. Therefore, it looks unbalanced. The net force is to the right. Therefore, it's accelerating. Therefore, it could be speeding up or slowing down. If it's going to the right, that's right. The net force is to the right, moving to the right. Something's pushing it. The direction's going. It's speeding up. Now, the other one, going to the left. Something is pushing it in the opposite direction that it's going. Going to the left, net force to the right, slowing down. All right. Here we go, last one. Looks to me like I would say this one is probably, um, yeah, I would say unbalanced. Therefore, it's accelerating. Therefore, it's speeding up or slowing down, and therefore, it could be going left or right. And if it's going to the left, this force is bigger than this force. Therefore, if it's going to the left, it's speeding up. This one, if it's going to the right, the left force, the net force is greater. If it's going to the right, it's slowing down, okay? So, what do you think? That's it. Let's just review. Balance force, unbalanced. Balance, not accelerating. Balance, not accelerating. Constant velocity or standing still. Unbalanced, accelerating. Unbalanced, accelerating. Accelerating is speeding up or slowing down depending on the direction. All right, so uh, that's it. Hopefully that helps. Uh, you can go back and review and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.